Mac OS X Virtual Desktop. Let's learn about it. Hey guys, this is Zach with PC Simplest, and welcome to another episode of Mac Mondays. Today, we're learning about virtual desktops. What can they do for you, and how do they work? You have your Mac, and you're wondering what this virtual desktop is. Well, let's start getting productive because that's exactly what virtual desktop is going to do for you. It's going to increase your productivity. So first thing we're going to do is learn how do we load the virtual desktop. You're not really loading it. You're not installing anything. You're not doing anything special. This virtual desktop is already on your machine. And what it does for you is allow you to create multiple desktops on one machine that can access different applications. Maybe you have different icons. Maybe you have a different background that really signifies what you're doing on each different desktop. So accessing this, if you have a laptop, you can simply swipe up on that trackpad. Three finger swipe up on the trackpad will open up the virtual desktop for you. If you have the wireless trackpad on your Mac, you know, if you have the desktop version or whatever, the iMac, same thing, three finger swipe up. Also on your keyboard, the F3 key, which has a couple different rectangle boxes on there, if you hit click on that, it'll also do the same thing. You're gonna see desktop one and desktop two. So F3 and three finger swipe up will help you access your virtual desktop. You can also three finger swipe left and right and it'll access each desktop individually. So you see if I swipe right, now I'm on desktop two. And if I swipe up, it'll show that desktop two is highlighted. So if I click on desktop one, it's gonna take me back to desktop one. Now you'll see that if I go, when I go in between, I have different applications open. And what this does for me is makes it a little bit quicker for me. So if I had Photoshop open and I had my screen flow open, screen flow is my application that I use to record my screen. Basically, I don't have to minimize my Photoshop to get to my screen flow. So what does this mean? It means I'm increasing my productivity because I'm not dragging down searching what I'm looking for and it allows a little bit more customization. You'll see if I go back to desktop two, if I were to minimize that, basically uh, I can have, you know, multiple things open on this screen and I can have, you know, just the one thing open on that screen. In this case, I have my notes open too. So if I to, were to open up Photoshop again on this screen and swipe up, you'll see that I have notes in Photoshop open. If you go to desktop two and I open up my screen flow and I swipe up, you'll see I have my system preferences and my screen flow open. So if I really am trying to be productive and I'm swiping in between and, and going between desktop one and desktop two, I know which desktop has my application open that I'm trying to utilize. And again, we're gonna utilize that three finger swiping left and right because let's say I'm going in between Photoshop and screen flow very rapidly, this allows a very quick and smooth transition and that's exactly what we want. We wanna increase our productivity, we want it to be as smooth and fast as possible and that's what we're doing. But now let's say I need a third desktop. That's right, a third one. Say I already have my application open, um, I can just say, ah, oh, system preferences needs to be in its own virtual desktop, its own desktop, okay? If I click on it and hold down and drag it up to this plus sign at the top right and just let it go, it's gonna create this third desktop for me that I can swipe to. So basically I can go to it there and there we go. I have my third desktop open. Now I have three virtual desktops that I can swipe in between just to utilize this as a productivity tool. And it's very important because like I said, you don't have to minimize, you don't have to click on a lot of things. You're really making it a lot smoother and easier for you with that three finger swipe, or like I said, you can do the F3 and just click on one and you're, you're really creating this, this really powerful tool for you to utilize that productivity. And like, I'm gonna say productivity over and over and over again, because that is a very important thing for you, no matter what you're doing on the computer. You don't want to make things more difficult for you. Let's make them as quick and easy and simple as we possibly can, because that's what we're doing for you here. So that's pretty much you know how you utilize this, uh, the virtual desktop. So anyway, that is virtual desktops on the Mac, and there's really not much to it. You get to play around with it, and utilize it for productivity the best that you can. And I didn't wanna make it too complex and complicated for you because we're trying to make this as simple as possible. Why do you need virtual desktops? 
because it makes your life easier. It makes it a little bit more simple. And you don't have to minimize and maximize and go in between a, different, a lot of different things in, in different ways that are slower. You use that three finger swipe back and forth and it's perfect. It's smooth, it's fast, it's simple, and it's easy. And we want that to be easy for you. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please hit me up in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them for you. I hope you found this video useful and stay tuned to next week's version of Mac Mondays. Thanks for watching. As always, please like and subscribe and check us out on Facebook. We still have a contest going on where we're going to be giving away a gift card. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.